Hi, I'm Dr. Tanya Krauss, and in this short video, I'm going to discuss research-based academic essays. Research-based academic essays, which typically range from about eight to 20 double-spaced pages for undergraduate students, are required across academic disciplines as part of a university education. They offer students the opportunity to engage with the ongoing scholarly conversation about topics that are important in their areas of study. That said, students often dread writing these types of essays, or they lack confidence in their ability to succeed on such assignments. In this short video, I will discuss, one, why professors assign research-based academic essays, two, common mistakes that students make when they embark on writing this type of essay, and three, strategies for writing research-based academic essays with less stress. Professors don't just assign research papers to punish students and laugh at their pain. In all seriousness, they assign research-based academic essays in order to give students the opportunity to learn independently about a topic connected to the course that interests the, that interests the student. Sometimes professors will ask you to develop your own topic from scratch, and other times they will provide you with a topic. The goal, regardless of the approach, is to encourage students to engage with a broader scholarly conversation beyond what is presented in course materials and by the professor in class. Ideally, students will then be able to contribute to that conversation themselves. Writing research-based academic essays is first and foremost about independent inquiry and direct engagement with the important scholarly conversation conversations, questions, and debates that surround a topic. Students can be susceptible to many different common mistakes when they embark on writing with research. Some of these include trying to read the professor's mind in order to choose a topic that will work, regardless of whether that topic interests you, failing to follow the professor's explicit directions about the requirement of the content and formatting of the essay, selecting the first 10 sources that come up in a database or search engine search to use for your paper, regardless of what those sources say, limiting yourself to just one database, one search engine, or even one type of source for all of your research writing the paper all in one sitting without leaving time for reflection, revision, editing, or proofreading, failing to credit your sources where credit is due, or failing to cite sources according to the most recent version of an established disciplinary style guide, something like APA, MLA style, or Chicago Manual of Style. Many of these mistakes trace back to a lack of confidence in one's researching or writing abilities, and those insecurities can lead to poor decision making. Remember, though, that there are support services on campus, including consultations at the, at the library about research, appointments at the Writing Center that can help you throughout the process of writing this type of essay, and also that you can always visit your professor either during their office hours or by appointment. Seeking help through the process can boost your confidence and give you the tools you need to do your very best work. Beyond that general advice, however, there are key strategies to employ when writing research-based academic essays. One, select a topic based on your genuine curiosity and a desire to discover knowledge that is new to you. Two, be sure to read any written assignment prompts carefully and to ask questions to be sure that you understand your professor's expectations. Three, evaluate your sources, assessing their credibility, relevance, and insight. Not all sources are created equal. And sometimes after evaluating your sources, you will find that you need to go back and do some more research. Four, research widely and broadly across several databases 
different search engines, different catalogs of materials, and engage with many different source types, including articles, books, and internet sources that may be scholarly or popular. Five, plan a schedule for developing your topic, conducting research, drafting, revising, and polishing your essay with ample time between steps for sleeping, reflecting, relaxing, and changing course if necessary. And finally, six, be sure to keep track of where you get information throughout the research and writing process, to cite sources as you write, and to make sure that you understand the rules for the citation style that you are using. Information has value, and by giving credit to our sources, we show that we value the sources that we are citing. If you're interested in seeing more of our videos, be sure to check out the NKU Honors YouTube channel. And if you're interested in learning more about honors at NKU, please visit www.nku.edu slash honors. Thank you.